Hello guys, here I am back with the next episode of our SOLIDWORKS train modeling tutorial series. In the last video, we made and assembled the wheel assembly for our model. In this video, we will be making all the remaining parts so that we can color them in upcoming video and assemble the model further. I have got many requests and comments to import these models to Microsoft Train Simulator. Uh, a good news there, I am working on the same and will come up with the result soon. First at least let's finish this locomotive here in SOLIDWORKS. So we start with the buffer. Take measurement from the main body and start making the buffer. So that's about 250 by 250 mm block. A cylinder extrude with draft. Just one degree. A simple extrude. Reverse extrude for the collar. And then there's a revolve. That's it. Our buffer is ready. Now that's the grill we will be making now. The grill will fit here. So measure the required borders. Thirty around three fifty five and three six four zero. Cut the inside part. A simple trick to do this whip using 3D sketch, make the path on corner which is easy to relate. And then make the profile from where you want to start it. Towards the end, it remains half. So we just extend that line. Now 
Make sure you make it collinear. That's pretty fine. Now simply pattern the sweep over the length. That's a simple cylindrical extrude. I'm activating section view so that you would understand. I'm fast forwarding some steps since it is the lengthy series and and in case if I start spoon feeding, we won't be able to finish the first model even after completing 20 episodes. My target is to complete the WDG4 model before reaching episode 15. Now pattern this lower extrude up to above to complete the grill. And we are done with the grill. That's one also grill but with the easier profile. It would fit over here. Three three eight zero. One one eight zero. and 50 Sketch this by using linear sketch pattern. I have done this in segments since there becomes many counters to extrude and it takes so much time for the bigger sketches. This may sometimes lead to the crashing of software depending on your computer. So that's the simple upper grill. Now we will be making these side panels which would fit on these slots. The base followed up by the remaining feature.
Now the other side panel that would be just a bit different than the first. Again, the base followed by its features. Moving ahead now. Now let's make the handle support rods. The lowest area should be 90 by 90 mm. So you can see that it's 90 mm in the bottom. Adding detailing with the help of our basic commands. I open each and every feature made so that you can see what detail I have put in it. So now, that's the hole through which our handle will pass through. We will be using this part many times during the assembly. I will show you that in the following videos. Adding fillets for the final touch. Save that and we will move towards the exhaust fan. Taking measurements from the main body. That's something I made by using linear sketch pattern or you can simply draw as many as circle. Another thin extrude for holding all the circles into one body so that it merges into one body. We will now work under the grill. So let me hide the grill by using the section view. So 
So now let's start with the center of our static fan. Here we will be using loft feature, loft. For that we require an extra reference plane. The base plane would be right plane. Firstly on the right plane make a sketch similar to this. Note that the angle which is 25 degrees. And on the new plane make another sketch with just a slight higher angle. Here I have given it 35 degrees. Now go into features tab and select loft base and select both the sketches. Now I have removed the outer part, keeping the inner part which looks similar to a fan blade. Select all bodies option if this pop up comes up. I have filled that remote part again. Removing the extra back part of the blade. I used a reward here, but a dome can also be used. Now we will pattern that blade circularly. Make sure you select both the features. So that's our exhaust fan. And from this point, we have finished with the part making of WDG4 model. From the next video, we will start coloring our model. So if you have enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up for this. And if you are new, make sure you press the subscribe button. Meet you in the next video.